Hi YouTube, welcome to another Warflow tutorial. Yar here and in this one we're gonna look at how to create Lottie animations. Lottie animations are a great resource that you can use on Warflow. They're very light, they're high in quality and they are super interactive so you can set them up on scroll, um, you can trigger them on click, you can trigger them on other triggers that we're gonna look at in a bit. Now for those of you who don't know Lottie, Lottie is an animation library created by Airbnb. They're basically JSON files that animate frames. So what we're going to do is basically convert a video into frames and then use those frames to create a Lottie animation and then take that Lottie animation and add it to our Ruffler project. This is going to be a fun use case. I'm going to leave clonables for you in the description below so you guys can uh, play around with this project. However, without further ado, let's get to it. All right. So what we have here is this video that, wait, let's play it. So it plays and comes towards the screen and then it goes out. So it's a seven second video. And what I want to do is add it to my workflow design. So I have this workflow project and I want to add this in the hero section. And I want to add it in a way where when I scroll, this, um, this video happens. So these frames happen. So when I scroll, I want to basically get inside the screen as, as if I'm going inside the TV. Now, the best way to do this is to do this with Lottie because it makes it very light and we can easily make it interactive. It's going to take it frame by frame and we're going to control it ourselves on Workflow. So how do we make this video into a Lottie? Now we're going to go into Adobe Media Encoder. So Media Encoder takes your video and splits it out into different frames. So let's see how that is done. Now what I have here is the Media Encoder dashboard and I'm going to bring in my video which is this one, and I will drop it here. First thing, I'm gonna choose the format, and that will be JPEG, because I want these frames in JPEG, so I'm gonna use JPEG, and then we're gonna choose the output file, so where these images will get stored. Now make sure to specify a file, otherwise you might have a lot of images just out there. And now it's ready, and now I can click on Start Queue, and as you can see here, it's taking this frame by frame and exporting it into images. Let's go to the file where we did this. And as you can see, we have all the frames here. Now we're gonna take these frames and convert them into Lottie using Adobe After Effects. So this is tool number two, Adobe After Effects. So we're gonna set a new project. Okay, so now we're gonna get these images. So let's open this file in Finder so I can see it. And as I said, I don't want to have the whole video, so I'm just gonna delete that last part and I wanna stop perhaps here at 80, at 83 perhaps. So we're gonna delete everything else and leave 83. And we're gonna delete all of these. And then the rest, we're gonna copy them, minus the video, and we're gonna bring it to Adobe After Effects. We can drag it and drop it here in this composition panel. And then once they are imported here in the library, we can bring them to production. And here we set our settings for this composition. Make sure it's a single composition. They use dimension from the images. This is by default. And the duration is set to this number. And then we're gonna select sequence layer and click okay. So these are the settings that we need. Once we click okay, we can see that we have this uh, little video and it loops and it's very nice. So now we want to export this into Lottie. Now we know After Effects have an extension, extensions body moving. There is an extension called body moving in After Effects that exports files into Lottie. So let's click on that. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick, by the way, this is gonna save you some, a lot of time. So what we do here is we select this, uh, we go to settings and go to assets. We enable compression and we include it in the JSON. We save and then we're gonna click the destination folder as well and that will be Lottie files this is the folder I'm using and we'll call this Lottie one we'll save and that's basically how you render or you export this into Lottie and then you click render and now we're gonna wait and render failed as expected now this happens if the video is a bit larger or if the frames are not set properly so a uh, fix to this is we can close this part and go to our settings. So we can go to settings, scripts, and expressions. And we're gonna go to scripting and expressions. It's already selected. And we're gonna allow scripts to write files and access networks and click okay. Now, when we go back to our body moving extension, and we set up, we make sure our settings are set. 
Yes, perhaps I'm just gonna make this to 60. Save, and then we're gonna render. And as you can see now, it's gonna work properly without uh, saying render failed. Now, this is gonna take a bit of time, so we can go back to the Webflow project and see how we're gonna put this inside here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a section. So let's bring this section on top. Let's call it section hero. And then inside it, there will be sticky section 100% width and 100 dynamic view height. And then the section hero, which is the parent element, will have 400 dynamic view height. It will have position relative and sticky section will have position sticky with zero from the top. So now if we scroll through, sticky section stays with us and that's where we're gonna add our Lottie animation. So if we go to Lottie, and we add a Lottie animation. So now we have this Lottie animation. If we preview it, it's a sample Lottie animation workflow brings in. So what we're gonna do is we'll replace these Lottie animation with our new JSON file. So let's go to find it. So here it is, it's rendered. We're gonna upload it here. Now, if we preview this, as you can see now, it has this animation. And what we will want to do now is style this a little. So this is gonna be full size and it will have 100% and 100%. And then we're gonna add in an interaction. So we're gonna go to section hero, this section that has 400 dynamic view height. We're gonna go to interactions. We're gonna add an interaction and that will be while scrolling into view and we'll set a new animation. Now we're gonna set a new animation, we'll call it Lottie Hero. We're gonna select the Lottie file now and we'll add the animation here. So it's gonna be Lottie integrations and this will basically give us the percentage of which frame this is in. So it will start at 0% and then it will end. Let's preview this. I think usually it's like 90% or maybe more so we can see 95%. Now, if we put the live preview on, you can see that this is how the animation is gonna happen. And that's exactly what we want. And we preview this now. And if we scroll, if we scroll up, it goes in, if we scroll down, this is perfect. So that's basically it. That's how you convert videos into Lottie animations. I'll leave this project as a clonable in the description below so you guys can check it out. Other than that, that's the video for today. If you guys like this, do give it a thumbs up, uh, do subscribe to the channel. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.